Everybody wants a guarantee. Yes. Everybody wants a guarantee. There's songs that you have no idea how they became the biggest song in the world. And there are songs that you're like, this is the greatest song I ever heard and nobody cares about. The music industry, everybody wants to be second. Everybody wants to be second. Because nobody has the balls to create what's going to be first. When the person does it, you're the first person to say, we need something like, everybody wants to be second. Ain't nobody trying to be innovative in something. That, you know, that's why it's the kid in the garage who sneaks out with something that becomes the big thing that everybody runs to do to say, do it and be second. You will never put out all of the music that you make in your lifetime. So this is what you need to do. Sell some, get the rest away. Die empty. Die empty. Don't die with shit creatively inside of you. Die empty. I want to absolutely blow everybody's mind at what was created in a week. Like, a big part of this is I am trying to dispel every industry rumor that has ever been there, that everybody who's worked with a record company has heard that it takes nine months and it takes this and it takes this. My whole shit is take the playbook, take all of this shit out. You put creative people in a room and I'm gonna show you what can happen. So basically what I'm trying to do is tell the industry, get the fuck out of our way. Stop acting like you know more about what people want than we do. Benediction. <laughs> <laughs> if all hearts and minds are ready, amen. We don't even need an altar tour. We're going to skip the altar tour. Know the Bible study is going to be moved to Wednesday. <laughs> Let's get on and have the choir rehearsal. Come on now, men's chorus. Go on in here and get it done. I don't mean to be cursing in my sermon. <laughs> but I'm just we a little pastor. I'm a little bit passionate about the word. <laughs>